Hello friends, welcome to Vitish Academy. Today in this presentation, we are going to solve an example on mathematical induction. So let us prove a plus a r plus a r square plus so on up to n terms is equal to a into r power n minus 1 divided by r minus 1. So first we have to find the nth term of the series. So we know that if a comma a r comma a r square so on are in geometric progressions then the nth term of the series which is nothing but tn is given by a r to the power n minus 1. So let us consider the given series as p of n. So we get here a plus a r plus a r square plus so on and the nth term of the series is a r power n minus 1 is equal to a into r power n minus 1 divided by r minus 1. Now let us consider this as equation 1. So first let us prove p of 1 is true. So to prove this let us substitute n is equal to 1 in the nth term of the LHS. So we get here p of 1 as a into r power 1 minus 1 that implies we get here a into r power 0. So we know that the value of r power 0 would come as 1 that implies we can write here a into 1. So we get here the value as a. Now let us substitute n is equal to 1 on the RHS side. We get here a into r power 1 minus 1 divided by r minus 1. So we can cancel over here r minus 1 in the numerator and denominator that implies we get here the value as a. So therefore we can conclude that LHS is equal to RHS and P of 1 is true. And now let us substitute n is equal to n plus 1 in the nth term of the LHS side of equation 1. So on substituting we get here a into r power n plus 1 minus 1. So we can cancel over here plus 1 and minus 1 that implies we get here a into r power n and this would be the next term in the expansion of the equation 1. And now let us add this next term on the both sides of the equation 1. So that implies we get a plus a r plus a r square plus so on plus a r power n minus 1 plus a r power n is equal to a into r power n minus 1 divided by r minus 1 plus a r power n. Now let us take here the LCM as r minus 1. So we get here a into r power n minus 1 plus a r power n into r minus 1 whole divided by r minus 1. And now let us multiply a with the group r power n minus 1. So we get here a into r power n as a r power n and a into minus 1 would come as minus a. Here by multiplying a r power n with the group r minus 1 we get here a r power n into r minus a r power n divided by r minus 1. So we can cancel over here a r power n and minus a r power n in the numerator and we know that when bases are equal the powers should be added and by adding here the powers of r we get here a r power n plus 1 minus a divided by r minus 1. So now let us take a as a common factor from both the terms. So we get here a into r power n plus 1 minus 1 divided by r minus 1. So here we observe that p of n is true for p of n plus 1. So therefore we can conclude that p of n is true for all n belongs to natural numbers. So this was the basic introduction on how to solve such examples on mathematical induction. Hope you understood the concept. Refer to more videos on mathematical induction on our website witishacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Till then, take care and goodbye.